dumb strain is I just came out of Aldi and I cannot believe the prices. Hello, Dumpsterinos. We are about to leave for Aldi. And by we, I mean you and me. Not the cats, not Frugal Daddy. He's cleaning up in the backyard. Just us. I don't know about you guys, but I've been watching a lot of prepping videos and they make me extremely anxious, very frightened, very freaked out because my S has already hit the fan personally because I'm just flat broke. So whatever we've prepped so far, whatever canned food I have put away, well, I guess that's all there's going to be because I just, I, paying my federal taxes like wiped me out. I paid them, but it didn't leave me with anything. And I would actually like to discuss that issue with some other YouTubers if you had issues with your federal taxes too, in terms of the 1099 NEC that was sent to you by Google. Were you able to count that as personal income or business income? Comment below on that. But anyway, that's not the point. That's just my personal struggle right now. I haven't been inside an Aldi in a long time, only to the dumpster. And where are you going? I just want to see what the prices are like and how the store is stocked. And is it possible to get any bargains left? Like, what does Aldi think is a bargain now? Because they think they're a bargain store. So what do they think is a bargain? And is the store empty? I mean, what are we going to find there? I don't know. Okay, here I am, Dumpstrina's going into Aldi. I'm doing voiceover for the first time ever. Here we go. All right, we'll tool around a little bit. Aldi savers, what's this about? Ooh, Brussels sprouts, $1.89. Hmm, they don't look that brand new, I have to say. $1.79 for pineapples, a nice deal, and they are huge. $1.99 for two peppers? Grapes, I never found the price on. And then $3.89 for navel oranges, except someone put carrot caras in there. Ooh, look at the bananas all ready to go up on the shelves. All right, all in all, I would say the produce area was well stocked. Potatoes, that's an eight pound bag for $4.25? That's ridiculous. And $4.49 for a five pound bag of red potatoes. Oh my gosh. That's 75 cents per pound for a head of cabbage. And they are huge. They're probably 10 pounds each. It's not the best cabbage price ever. Oh, $1.69 for Hawaiian sweet rolls. Remember when you could get them for a dollar at Dollar Tree? No more. All right, we have the snack area. We're going to look around a little bit just to see how well the shelves are stocked. And then we are going to find every item in this store that costs less than a dollar, except for the candy up at the register. We don't need to know about that. But there are still actually lots and lots of great bargains here at Aldi. And I don't want to sound like a commercial for Aldi, not that I don't owe them a commercial. Pretty well stocked on toilet paper and paper towel and cleaning stuff. Um, but anyway, this is not sponsored by Aldi, of course, and this is just me looking for bargains for preppers or anybody who actually has money to buy anything. We've got the cheese area. Pretty well stocked, a few holes here and there. I mean, overall, the whole store was, was well stocked. But, you know, every now and then, Aldi's missing a few things, and it's always like that. Nothing to make one completely continue to panic. You know, if you've got the money to pay for it, there's plenty here to eat. I don't shop here often enough to really know how hard inflation's hitting. We have the meat area coming up. We're going to look at some chicken prices. Oh, there's that raclette cheese we pulled out of the dumpster a bunch of times. $5.89. I had no idea it was so expensive. It's not that big a package either, but it is a really nice cheese. All right, pork chops, two ninety nine a pound. I don't know if that's a good price. Three twenty nine for seventy three percent ground beef, and it's a big package. You'd think it would have sort of a, a lower price. I don't think that's a great price. Is it? I don't think so. All right, you've got the chicken. There is chicken. Obviously, it's not incredibly well stocked. Oh, turkey tenderloin. We've pulled those out of the dumpster so many times. I was interested to see how expensive they were. Then they're pretty good, too. 
Split chicken breasts. This was the chicken I thought was the best deal. $1.79 a pound. It's a pretty big package for four eighty, but still it's got the bones and the skin and everything. Back in produce. We're just everywhere in no particular order. Again, some gaps here and there, but still plenty to eat if you can afford it. But what can we afford? What indeed? Here we go! You betcha, pepperonis. We still have canned goods available under a dollar, as they should always be. I, I, yep, there you go. 72 cents for all these beans. I just don't think canned veg should ever be more than 72 cents. Tomatoes are always a little bit more. But that's okay because they're tomatoes and we've got the creamed corn and the regular corn corn is not honestly the most nutritious thing in the world but you know you got to fill your belly when you got to fill your belly you know we've got the smaller can of diced tomatoes the, uh, the first can was a really big can of diced tomatoes lots of different canned veg available so no need to panic on this front there's still time and it's still pretty reasonably affordable, I guess. Green beans. We've got our refried beans. Yum. Tuna. That's the light tuna, which is really the dark tuna. 77 cents a can. This uh, is not under a dollar. It's the big can of chicken. I just thought I'd show it to you at 2.39. I pulled a bunch of those out of a dumpster once. Soup. Condensed soups. The Aldi version of Campbell's at around 50 to 55 cents a can, which also it should never cost more than that. Sorry, dangling prepositions. I mean, soup has gotten ridiculously expensive. A little au gratin potato kit. Yum. Salad dressing mix. 48 cents. Rancherino. If we had the onion soup mix in stock, it would only be 79 cents, but we're missing that right now. Mustard. You can never have too much mustard. Mustard? 59 cents for a cucumber. 59 cents for a pound of baby carrots? Are you kidding me? I was astonished. I have never seen a price better than maybe a sale of 89 cents. Usually they're 99 cents a pound. 59 cents. And herbs, fresh herbs for 69 cents. Spring onions, 85 cents. And look at the mango price. Mangoes always have a good price in May, honestly. May is the time to buy mangoes. 79 cents a mango. And they were nice mangoes. 43 cents for a box of mac and cheese. They only have one little box of boxes here, but you could buy the whole thing. There are no limits on anything in the store. 89 cents for the rice mixes. Big Big, big, big jars of pickles. 89 cents for the noodle mixes. Like noodle roni. Spices. Everybody loves to get their spices at Aldi. They are a great price. 79 cents. And my understanding is they are just a less sexy packaged version of, in fact, McCormick Spices. They are McCormick Spices. They just can't be as in pretty a package. And they don't really have... A, a huge selection on their spices at Aldi. Got the basics. We've got tartar sauce, chili sauce, seafood cocktail sauce, all under a dollar. Good. I like those. Bread. 87 cents for your fluffy, airy loaf of white bread. Plenty of it there. I thought this was kind of expensive for a cake mix. I'm sorry, but two twenty seven. Okay, there we go. This is like rice aroni, ninety nine cents a box. Like Aldi's version of rice aroni. Barbecue sauce. Can never have too much. These are like cheese doodles, basically. Aldi's version of cheese doodles. Fifty five cents for canned cat food. This is kind of like your. Um, and 38 cents fancy feast. So it's like the fancy feast. Got our cookie area. Eh, fairly well stocked. We're swinging around on cereals. There we go. 
fudge brownie mix, 98 cents and 94 cents for a yellow cake mix. 47 cents for corn muffin mix. 96 cents for the mini marshmallows. So you can still have marshmallows in your cocoa. Cocoa, cocoa. Oh, this is a much better price than Walmart. 93 cents for a graham cracker crust. All these prices are better than Walmart right now. Why is Walmart getting so ridiculously expensive? Whole wheat bread, 89 cents. Plenty of it. We have the evaporated milk for 79 cents a can. 60 cents for baking soda. Ignore the baking powder for the moment. Look far to the right. 89 cents for packets of yeast. 48 cents for our ranch salad dressing. $0.38, cents. taco seasoning. I think that's our cheapest item in the store. All right, we're coming on to our runners up. Thank you for participating, ladies. These items are not under a dollar, but I think they're still a pretty reasonably affordable deal if you need to fill your belly because things are getting expensive. That's a big box of cornflakes for $1.12. $1.39. You got that and your mini marshmallows. You still have, you know, your uh, Rice Krispie treats in your bunker. Mayonnaise, $1.94. I've heard people talking about how this Duke's mayonnaise down south is like $7 a jar now. And that's just ridiculous. I thought $1.15 was a decent price for English muffins. I'd prefer 99 cents, but can't be picky, especially when you're not actually going to buy them. $1.49 for ketchup. Dollar nine per pound for Roma tomatoes, which I think was a really decent price, and people have definitely taken advantage of it because there are not too many left. Look at these! Look at these! I was so excited to see these. A dollar six for a box of Aldi's version of wheat thins, which I venture to say are identical to our standard wheat thins. Olives. We have powdered sugar for a dollar sixty-two for a two-pound bag, and brown sugar also same price a dollar sixty-two for the two-pound bag. A dollar thirty-nine for tomato juice. That was a good deal. It's a big bottle. This is the Albacore tuna. It's gotten a little bit more expensive. A dollar thirty-nine a can if you can afford it. It's still there. Dollar fourteen for the. These are the like the cheese doodles that didn't puff up. These are like the Chester Cheeto crunchy defunct doodle snacks you know Ooh, and these are just like fritos i love these oh i'm so excited dollar 49 okay graham crackers interestingly enough you're gonna pay 50 cents more for cinnamon isn't that interesting i found it fascinating big jar of pickles for dollar 55 still lots of really 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 affordable food at aldi i'm very happy to report it would be a dollar 28 if i could have found it Relish. Couldn't find it. Now look at this. Look at this. They've got the Pepperidge Farm Goldfish. $4.09. That's a lot. It's not even that huge a bag. Flavor blasted. And then come to the Aldi version, which are little turtles. And how much are the turtles? A dollar forty freaking five. High five, Dumpsterinos. That's a decent price if you're a Goldfish fan. Alright, we've got uh, salad dressings and Salad dressings and more salad dressings. Those are pretty good. We found those in the dumpsters several times, many times. Dollar thirty-nine, a magical price. We see it a lot. Eight ounce blocks of cheese for a dollar thirty-nine. That's less than two eighty a pound. I think anything less than four dollars a pound for cheese is a really great price and that's been the standard in my head for many years so this is fantastic a dollar 39 that's a great price for cheese there you have your individually wrapped singles kind of a waste of plastic if you ask me but they've got them no need to fret bologna don't criticize the bologna don't judge any of the food even if you're not a bologna lover or a lover of kind of fake maple syrup it's affordable We've got some, you know, those are yummy. It's like nut bars, peanut butter. That's a decent sized jar. I know I've paid up to $1.89 for that myself. So $1.69 is a good price. Got to have that in your prepper pantry for sure. Flour, big old five pound bag of flour. Not a bad price, is it? I don't know. I never buy anything. 
$1.29 for sweetened condensed milk. All right, there's a lot going on here that I wasn't even paying attention to when I was actually filming it, but we've got the pie crust that I think is $1.55. We've got cinnamon rolls that are $1.25. And then above, you can kind of see the 74 cent. Well, we missed it anyway. Buck 59 for vanilla wafers. It was some kind of other biscuit roll or something up above. $1.59 for waffle cones. Now, if they had them in stock, it'd be $1.19 for sugar cones. They're out of them, but okay. And check it out. I love this. A dollar, whatever that was, for organic salsa, organic mashed potatoes, instant mashed potatoes. It's a big box for $1.39. It's a big box. All right, now we're getting into the noodles and the pastas and, you know, all that stuff, which is also lovely to have in your prepper pantry. I mean, you know, those canned goods never actually go bad, right? As long as the can's not damaged and you're not, I don't know, storing it near a blast furnace or something. I mean, cans really never actually do go bad. So please don't be fooled by the dates on the on the cans or on any packaging. You got your sauce, you got your pasta. You got your sprinkle cheese. And that's it. Great deals. Now, I know you're all wondering, okay, you were at the Aldi. Why didn't you go dumpster diving? Well, one, it was super crowded. It was very, very packed. It might not have looked like it inside the store, but there were cars everywhere. I did walk over to the dumpster because I wanted to check it out so I could let Frugal Daddy know, like, hey, if you're going to go dumpster diving tonight, whether or not there's anything in there. And I also thought, you know, grab a box. So I looked in the dumpster and the cases of bananas. There were cases of bananas. Cases, at least three cases. Uh, I took a bunch of bananas. I just pulled a bunch. I couldn't carry the whole case. I didn't, you know, I just... And then they, they threw out cases of skim milk. And I just reached my little hand in and grabbed three half gallon jugs of skim milk, which have tomorrow's date as their best buy date. I saw the date on them of 512 and I pulled out my phone because I was like, 512, I wonder when that is. Have we passed that already? I wonder what date it is. Like, I had no idea. And it's the 11th. So, yeah. And I thought the price of a gallon of milk in there was too high. I did not like it. Um, you know, over $3 a gallon for milk, I do not think is a good price. I don't like that. And I didn't want to buy milk there. But I didn't have to because I did grab three half gallons of skim with tomorrow's date. And you can freeze milk. I have frozen milk many times. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You can freeze milk. So there you go.